Hi, this is Saud. This is to show the advantage of using uh, isolation transformer on personal safety and uh, equipment safety as well during troubleshooting any uh, electrical or uh, electronic uh, device. Uh, I'm going to give a practical demonstration to measure the potential voltage difference uh, at different uh, points to the to the respect of the, the ground uh, before uh, starting the practical uh, demonstration let's get some uh, theory about concept of the isolation transformer at the substation we have the 240 volt AC we have live line and we have the neutral as well and in fact the earth at that side in somehow it is connected to the neutral at home we have the three pin AC socket live neutral and in fact here we have the earth is also also connected so as you can see from this AC circuit the earth is in fact part of the circuit so let us say in case I have an electronic device under test and it is connected by AC cable live and neutral to my outlet in case while I'm working on this device it happen I touch a point that is connected to the live then my body is going to complete the loop now to the earth and is going to be part of the circuit and the 240 volts is going to push the current through my body to the ground and I'm going to get electric uh, shock in this case let's do something Instead of connecting the device under test directly to the AC outlet, let us introduce a transformer in between. And this is going to change uh, the story in somehow and we'll, we'll explain uh, that. This what we call an isolation uh, transformer. So now if I stand on the same place touching the same live point on the device under test I am not going to receive an electric shock. Simply because the isolation transformer it isolates the primary power including the grounding and earthing loop so it doesn't appear anymore in the secondary side. Let's get some more detail about how the isolation transformer itself it is functioning. The isolation transformer it is just a transformer with winding ratio of 1 to 1 so the number of turns in the primary is same to the number of winding turns in the secondary so simply the input of 240 volt 
AC is going to generate an output of 240 volt AC as well. But the difference here now is that the secondary output is not referencing to, to ground anymore. So if I stand on the ground and touch any of the output cables of secondary winding, I am not going to receive an electric shock. But if I touch both of them, then of course I'm going to get even stronger shock because a potential of 240 volt is going to be applied on my body at that case. But it is more likely to touch one point, in fact, during the servicing of electrical and uh, electronic device and there where we get the, the advantage of the isolation. The isolation concept here is based on the fact that there is no any direct electrical connection between the primary and, and secondary. It is just the mutual indu induction and let's get this concept more clear in another example. Just think, think about the secondary output as if I have 20 piece of 12 volt batteries connected in series. So B1, B2, and so on until B20. So the total output from these batteries is going to be 240 volt DC, simply because 12 multiplied by 20 equal 240. So if it happened that I touch any terminal on the battery output plus or minus to the respect of the earth or while I'm standing on the ground I, I, I'm not expecting to receive any electric shock because simply the battery is just floating it gets nothing to do with the Earth and the Earth it doesn't represent any circuit or, or loop on the on the battery. Even if I, in somehow, let's say I converted this from DC to AC, and I got out of this. 240 volt AC still if I touch any of this terminal to the respect of the ground I'm not going to get any shock because simply it is totally isolated and it got nothing to do with the, with the earth so this this is the concept which is simply applied on the secondary output of the isolation transformer but remember again if you touch both terminals at the same time you are going to receive a shock. Let's get brief setup which way we are going to use it during our uh, practical uh, demonstration. We are going to use two transformer connected as back to back to form an isolation transformer. 
So I have here two two forty to twelve volt stepping down transformer. So I'm connecting them as back to back. So two forty volt then I'll get a 240 volt output so this it's going to step down to 12 and then from 12 it will step up again to 240 as long both transformers they are isolated so the primary is isolated from the secondary then the total is going to form an isolation transformer in fact of course a little bit different from the real isolation transformer because with the real isolation transformer I have got a special uh, isolation material between both windings and the windings they are designed to withstand higher high high voltage but with this setup we are achieving the concept of the isolation uh, transformer so we are going to check the potential voltage difference between the life of the primary to the ground and we are going to check as well the voltage potential difference between both the terminal of the output of the of our isolation transformer both live and neutral and let's see what potential voltage it is giving us at every point and that will practically prove the concept. It is advisable to use similar uh, transformers for uh, such setups with similar uh, voltage and uh, power uh, specification. So we, we have connected our multimeter to the input to our isolation transformer to the primary windings of the first transformer and uh, let's switch on the power now ju just to see the the input so we have almost 240 volt as an input to the transformer so now the second step is to take one of the multimeter probes and leave the other one connected to the live and get get it connected to the earth and let's see what potential is going to give us remember this is this side is the non isolated part so to do that i'll need to switch off the power again as a safety precaution because this part is non isolated and it is danger to really deal with it directly I have put some water on the ground just to get good contact with the earth. Let's switch on now the mains and see what's going on. As you can see we are getting the full 240 volt to the respect of the earth. So just imagine if you are standing on the earth and working and get contact with this point the live point anywhere in your uh, device under test then you are going to get electric shock I have shifted now the multimeter to the secondary side of our isolation uh, transformer and let's switch on the mains now and see what is the the output yeah we are getting almost uh, 230 volt due to some differences in the transformer winding so we'll get some losses but with the ideal uh, isolation uh, transformer we should expect to get the full output so let's repeat the, the same uh, experiment and uh, take out one of the probes to the earth and see how much potential is going to give us I am I'm working more comfortably here now in the isolated side uh, as long as I'm not touching the both 
uh, transformer output cables. So let's bring it to down to the same point. Yeah, it's nothing as you can see. Yeah, this is not going to harm anything to the respect of the earth. So I'm, if, if I'm standing here and it happened that I touch any point in my device and the test connected to one of the isolation transform output, I'm still going to be very safe comparing to the non-isolated side. Let's shift to the other terminal and let's see again what output. It's nothing, almost zero. So this is proving now that with isolated power you are much much safer. It is very helpful to use the isolation transformer to power the device under test, particularly if you are troubleshooting uh, the device using the oscilloscope. As you know, the oscilloscope ground and the negative rail on the circuit is connected to the casing and it is very unsafe for the oscilloscope and as well for the device under test to use it in non-isolated uh, power supply. So the right practice here is to connect the device under test and power it from the isolation transformer and just power the oscilloscope from the mains outlet. There is another benefit of uh, using the isolation transformer beside what we have mentioned. It can be used in fact for uh, surge uh, protection and it can be used uh, for noise uh, isolation uh, as well, it can be used uh, to couple a uh, signal from stage to stage, particularly in some audio circuits, it can be used for uh, galv galvanic isolation uh, in the input uh, or outputs of uh, certain uh, devices. It is, it is in fact widely used in uh, medical uh, devices and, and uh, instrument. My last uh, advice, uh, just don't work with uh, high voltage uh, AC circuit like what we have done here unless you are uh, uh, technically qualified to deal uh, with this. That is for your uh, safety and to, to avoid any harm. And uh, that's all and, and, and thanks for watching.